Hi, I'm Millie Liang, ex corporate girl turned seven figure entrepreneur. But it wasn't all that long ago that I lacked the self confidence, money, time, and know how to start and build my own business. Fast forward past many failed attempts, lessons learned, tears, and hard work, I have built a business that created both impact and profit. s I created Shine to Impact Podcast to give you inspirations and simple actionable strategies to help you bring out your gifts and song of genius so that you can start building a deeply satisfying business, impact the world, and make soulful, abundant money that supports your lifestyle and your spirit. So, if you're someone who's driven and big hearted and want to create a business and life that you truly love, you are at the right place. There is a diamond within you, and it's time to let it shine and impact the world. Welcome to today's episode, and I'm your host, Millie Liang, seven figure entrepreneur turned business mentor and marketing strategist, recipient of the Personal Brand Award by Marketing Institute of Singapore 2017, Global Goodwill Ambassador of GGA 2019, and the creator of the Shine to Impact podcast. Welcome. So today, I want to talk about how to shatter your self limiting beliefs and self doubts. Aha.、Uh-huh. Now, this is such an important topic and one that I found I have to often revisit with my coaching clients and sometimes, to be honest, even with myself. Here's the secret I want you to know everyone thinks they are not good enough, everyone has self limiting beliefs and self doubts. Yes, in fact, here is another secret you will have some level of self limiting beliefs and self doubts. Every time you're trying something new or pushing for new goals or new achievements, and that never stops. So, if you listen to that little voice, it all boils down to four words I think I suck. Uh huh. So, this is a recurring thing that we need to learn how to deal with because it's just going to keep coming back, right? Everyone has it. But those who know how to recognize them and get past them will be able to get moving forward and reach new goals. Now, I remember when I first started my business in year 2011, I had so much self limiting beliefs and self doubts. It was unbelievable. At the time, I have been an employee all my life. I have never done any business. I have no business skills, no sales skills, no marketing skills, no network, little money, little time, and no technical know how. Heck, I mean, I didn't even have a business idea at the beginning. So every day, I mean, every day, I was constantly in this panic, frustrated, and disappointed mode because I felt like I was good for nothing. I was constantly beating myself up. Especially when I saw how other people are achieving success, and I felt like I was behind. I felt like there's too much competition already out there that I wouldn't be ever be able to compete with anyone or be able to start and build a successful business. It was so much like a mood swing, like a roller coaster ride with my emotions. And I don't mean just certain time of the month, I mean seriously. Like having so much self limiting beliefs and self doubts that someday it was actually paralyzing to a point that I felt so exhausted that my brain would shut down and I had to sleep. Do you know what I mean? That went on for many, many months when I was trying to figure things out. And one day, out of nowhere, when once again I was wrapped up in my own self limiting beliefs and self doubts, a very dear friend of mine, That I have known since my university days reached out to me on Facebook Messenger, and he said he was looking back at his journal and he found a page that he wrote a few years back. And in that particular page, he wrote about me. He emailed me a copy of the page, and as soon as I read it, I had tears coming out. In his journal, He wrote how he admired my courage to keep pushing for it every time I hit unbelievable obstacles and challenges. How I was always willing to work hard, that I was smart and I was mentally strong. He said that I always dream big, set big goals, and always take actions towards achieving my dreams despite fears. 
And I'm talking about this friend who has actually known me for more than 20 years. And he has seen me gone through many, many ups and downs in my life since my university days. He said how I've worked hard and became a straight A student in my class, despite the fact that English was not my first language. And also how I was camera shy, but I pushed through my fears and became a television host part-time during my university years. I've got to say, I was so touched. He reached out to me just at the exact moment I needed encouragement. Because like I said, at the time I was really wrapped up in my own self-limiting beliefs and self-doubt, and frankly, my own pity party. His email helped me to remember who I am. I had overcome obstacles in the past. I have achieved my dreams in the past. And I had proud moments in my life in the past. Sometimes when self-limiting beliefs and self-doubts hit, we forget how far we've already come in the past. We forget to look back and see all the great things we've already achieved in our lives. We belittle ourselves and we step onto our own egos. We forget to pat ourselves on our own back. Yes, everyone has weak moments and everyone falls down occasionally, but that doesn't define us. The important thing is to turn around and get back up and keep moving. So here, I want to share my five tips on how to shatter your own self-limiting beliefs and self-doubts. Tip number one, be aware when the devils come. And this is what I mean. Have this self-awareness. When you are having that weak moment, that self-doubt and your own self-limiting beliefs are trying to attack you, trying to take you down. And when you, that happens, I want you to catch them and say, thank you for sharing, but I'm better than that. Repeat after me. Thank you for sharing, but I'm better than that. Yes, you are better than that. You are not your self-limiting beliefs. You're not your self-doubt. You are fully capable of having the courage to move forward despite any obstacles, challenges, and setbacks. So next time when they try to come and attack you, catch them, stop them, and tell yourself that you're better than that. Now, tip number two, focus on others and not on yourself. This is what I mean. Get back to focus on the people you are here to serve instead of focusing on yourself. Do the work. Put the attention out and not on yourself. Focus on others. If all your attention is put on creating value and results to serve others, you've got no room to wonder if you're good enough. Mm-hmm. So focus on others, not on yourself. Tip number three, take a look at your past accomplishments. Now, I want you to write a list of all your past accomplishments. Now, it might take some time to finish this list, but it's good to get it started. There are all the things you've done in the past that you are proud of. It could be that you managed to graduate college. Maybe you got good grades. Maybe you got your driver license. Maybe you went on a solo trip in Europe for a month by yourself. Or maybe there are praises from people who you've helped or awards or recognitions you received in the past. It could be anything that you've achieved and you feel proud of. There's really no moment too small. Now the goal here is that you have this list with you by your desk and every time you're feeling this self-limiting belief or self-doubts, devil trying to attack you, trying to get you, you come back them by looking at your accomplishment list. Because the truth is, you have overcome in the past. You have achieved things in the past. And that means you will be able to continue to overcome and achieve new goals in the future. So, have this past accomplishments list ready for you. Tip number four, watch motivational videos. Yes, there are a lot of videos on YouTube. Or you can also listen to uplifting podcasts like the one you're listening to right now. Mm hmm. Yes, my podcast. Because we all need some pick me up from time to time, right? As motivational speakers, Zig Ziglar once said, people often say motivation doesn't last. Well, neither does bathing. And that's why we recommend it daily. Aha, uh -huh. isn't this so true? We don't want a stinky body, and you absolutely don't want a stinky mind. So, yes. 
We all need motivation, and we need it daily. So I want you to keep your spirit high. You want to keep your motivation high. Give yourself the gift of at least twenty to thirty minutes a day for personal development, motivational or inspirational reading or listening. And yes, like I said, listening to this podcast is a great choice. You will find all these actions can help you lift your spirit and program you for positivity. Okay, tip number five: surround yourself with positive and supportive friends and mentor. Yes, we all need that from time to time. Just like how I shared in this episode, my dear friend reached out to me and lifted me up just when I needed it most. Have people who you trust, people who you know will stand by you and reach out to them as you need to. Have a mentor, someone who has walked where you're going, so she can watch out for your blind spots, point you out to the right direction, and support you along the way. Cheerleader for you and shortcut your journey so you can keep moving forward on your dreams. So there you are. These are five tips. To help you shatter your own self-limiting beliefs and self-doubts, so you can reach your dreams and build the business and life that you truly love. Now, I want to share a bonus tip from the story I just shared with you today. I want to say, when you get to be the person who reach out to thank others, to appreciate others, do it. Just as in this case, my dear friend reached out to me just when I needed encouragement the most. He didn't know that I needed it at the time. But the fact that he reached out to me at the very moment really touched my heart and lifted my spirit. So, if someone has helped you, impressed you, or done something that you appreciate, reach out to her or him and say thank you. Let her know that what you appreciate about her. It may just be an encouragement that your friend needs to hear that day. So, be the angel for someone. Together, we can make the world a better place. So, my dear, from now on, when you have that self-limiting belief or self-doubt moment, remember to catch the devils and stop them. You are a diamond. You are capable, and you can achieve anything you want. Stop believing in the lies that you tell yourself and become unstoppable. With that said, thank you for listening to this episode, and I hope that this has added value for you. And I look forward to seeing you at the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so honored that we are connected, and I hope that I can continue to serve you as you build your dreams. Please visit my website, milliliang.com. That is M-I-L-L-I-E-L-E-U-N-G.com, and grab your free gift, Passion to Profit Playbook: Secrets of Turning Your Passion into an Impactful and Profitable Business. If you loved this episode, and I hope that you did. Please rate it five stars. Give us a glowing review because it will help more women around the world to find this podcast, so that we can impact the world one woman at a time. Sending you love and lights. Keep shining, and see you at the next episode.